here we go then I've finally been sent very kindly by the people at car pure ride <coughs> HD display 9 inch screen um, it's car player in vehicle multimedia player some would say Apple player so we're going to do an unboxing, right? I've, I've only took the uh, plastic off. I haven't been inside, but I've been inside, but I haven't opened it all up. So we'll have a look. Live unboxing. So this is something I was looking at to get for the van anyway. I'll take that to the screen. I'll just set that down there for a minute. All these little bits and bobs in here. Oh, there's many things, many, many things. That's the, that's the box there, all nice and foam protected. Set that over here. So you get the car player manual. Gives you all the details. I'll have to look through all this. Yeah, I'll have to go through that. For now, we're just gonna have a look what's in the box. So the first thing you see is the big thing. Ah, hold on, these things are always awkward, aren't they? Ah, yeah. So this will attach the car player to the screen. This is the thing that clips in the back of the display. Got some movement on it. Extends out. Yes, that's what you want on it. And down, up and down like that. Suction pad with the grip. I find I've got a couple of things with these grips and they're good them. They do keep a good solid hold. That's on a, um, oh yeah, it's on a ball. So you can move it about. A little ball joint in there. So you really can have it any position you want, can't you? When you put it in the car, you can have it directly looking at you yeah that's good i like that that's in case i can't fit it on the dashboard i'm not sure about I haven't checked i haven't checked the size of the um mountain bit on the dashboard yet but this is for that this is to mount it on the dashboard so it just clips on there again tighten it up nice and tight 3M sticker. Yeah, that'll go on there. That's a double sided, oh yeah, double sided one. So it just sticks on there. So that's the mount. What else do we have in here? That's in a spare. Oh, that's for um, if you want to make a permanent. Yeah, this can be screwed on for a permanent fix. So if you haven't got a, a sticky surface and you want to put it on, not you don't want to put it on your window, that'll stick nicely to that. Right. You've got your auxiliary cable, gold plated. Double ender. And your power lead. 12 volt, this goes into the the power charger in your car or on your device whatever your power bank and that will be the power lead into the machine right so that's that this is the actual player itself there you go nice big nice big screen i'm getting reflection off the light Nice big screen. I'll take the, it's got a plastic cover on it. I'll take that off. I'll take them off. And there's your mounting plates. I'll have to play about with them. See how they go on. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, it just clips straight on. Yeah, that. That's it. Mount it up. Good. 
on off button at the top here I don't think it'll come on it doesn't have any power in it will it in the side you have a microphone plug external mic SD card slot micro SD camera in if you want to fit a reversing camera there is a reversing camera available with this but that's extra that's a different um, a different pack AV out USB in DC 12 volts that's where you, that's your power there so I'm thinking I've got um, one of these already which goes into my auxiliary it's got a USB on one end and this on the other so I'll go auxiliary in to there and that should enable this to play through the car speakers that's something I have to work out I have to find that out it should theoretically should but anyway that's it that's your display there so that's it that's the first look what we're going to do now is read the instructions and we're going to come back I think this is an external speaker on the back here yeah? it's a speaker on the back there so you can use it without the car stereo if you don't want to plug it in so it does actually um, have volume on it as a as a separate unit thing is with this you can interchange so if you put that in your car and that one in your van <laughs> if you've got a car in a van and you can swap them over or you can mount that somewhere else like say for example in here mount it on here and then if you know when you park up you can watch a bit of TV or whatever's downloaded onto it yeah so we're gonna get it charged up because yeah I don't think there's any power in it they normally don't come charged up do they we'll get it charged up and then we'll come back when we're getting it in the car and see if we can get it connected so that'll be the next stage so here we are in the car in the van and i fitted it onto the windscreen and as you can see i used the uh the windscreen mount because of the unique nature of this van that other mount doesn't fit in there or there so i've used the windscreen mount anyway so that's it it's up so it's only one wire in there that's the power lead and i've got that plugged into 12 volt um i've got a mess of wires here i've been away this weekend that's why there's all these cables for the fridge and for some other stuff but it's plugged in there so that's it so easy enough to mount Just snap on at the back there easy enough to take it off as well clips on and all so we'll turn it on see what happens what i've done is disconnected my phone i have connected the phone up to it and i've been using it just so i can familiar with it so i've took the bluetooth off my phone now so we're going to have a look at how quickly it sets up there we go just turn the ignition on gives you the website there there you go so that is the default settings before you connect your phone. Uh, here it is. Oh, it's connected. How's it done that? Wait, wait, oh, wait, just wait, wait, turn that off. Copyright. It's just connected automatically. Hold on a minute. What's the crack here? Like, I turned the Bluetooth off. <laughs> it's turned it on. Right. So we'll go back. car home right car home is where you get that original screen that's the screen that you get without plugging your phone in right and if you want to go back to your phone it's iPlay comes out right so car home iPlay so you've got all these different things here airplay is what mirrors your phone to the the screen here so whatever's on your phone can go there equalizer there's all these different settings here you got electric, jazz, rock, classic standard. I've had a bit of muck about and pop is the best one I think. 
with the loud button off. And to go back, you just press the home button. Bluetooth settings, USB, so you can plug in. SD card, I haven't put one in yet. FM transmitter. I've got to keep the volume down, right? So basically, you've got all these presets for FM radio. Um, how do you get the the volume button? Oh, that's it, yeah. There's a button on the top, the on-off switch on the top brings up the volume button. So I'm going to turn that down because I don't want to get copyrighted. So that's FM transmitter anyway. You just go through all the different... That's preset one, preset two. You press and hold it. Uh, press and hold. Preset four. Right, go back. Lots of different things. And it's fine with me here, actually. All the, um, the settings. The device speakers on, so that means that the music comes through there. Right drive. I don't know what that means. Restore factory certain settings. The language, obviously, English. iPhone wired link, so you can plug your phone into it, but obviously it's got Bluetooth, so you don't need to. There's your Wi Fi stuff. And this is all for you um, when you're driving. You've got the video warning, which video warning of what? I don't know. Park lane, a park lane set and rear camera mirror. Right. So what happens is some of these units have a little reversing camera with them, and you plug it in, and then you get all the reversing camera settings. This hasn't got the reversing camera, so we'll just gloss over that bit. Right. So. We'll put the Bluetooth on my phone, right? And we'll see. It just connects, it's dead easy. You just go into your Bluetooth settings, find car puride, and it just connects up. So what you've got here is everything. BBC sounds. Right, so you've got the stations. We'll put one that isn't um, music. Radio 5 Sports Extra. Oh, that comes straight on. Monday. Athletes keep pushing. Aiming to win. To inspire. <laughs> to triumph. Radio 5 Sports Extra. So it's just, it plays through, it plays through there. It also comes through on the, the car. I'll get to that in a minute. Right, I'm, I'm got both hands free now. Right, so what happened was with this phone and this unit here and the head unit this in your car, like your radio, if that was Bluetooth, that would all play. It would all play through the radio. However, because this van doesn't have Bluetooth, I'll have to connect the auxiliary cable. Right, so now I've got to turn this down because <laughs> music comes on and I get copyrighted. So you put the BBC sounds on. I just put my phone in the holder. There we go. That's coming through the car player now because it's connected via the auxiliary cable, which is down there. So there you go, and you can have the maps on, so you just search, recent searches, Andy Warhol's pitch, it was Dale Head, right, this is Google Maps, I'll just turn that down, shouting over the top of it, so it's calculated the route, there you go, turn so, left to stay on Holy Stone Avenue, then turn right onto Drawridge Drive, right, so, You've got the music coming through the car radio, but the navigation comes out the speaker on that, so you don't get the interruption. Oh, oh hold on a minute. So you can come back out of it anytime you want. And then you can go back into it. So you've got your information there for your radio, 
it tells you how far you've got to turn up. Oh, that's your directions there, and this is your estimated time. So you've got the map there, information there. If you want the radio on, just tap that. Go back. If you want the map only, just tap that. And then you've got the full screen map. I like that. I used that at the weekend. It was great. It was so, so nice just to have that big map there telling you where to go. And then they've got the radio with all the information there. I like that. So just uh, just to stop. So if you want to get an information bar of exit there, get the settings. Gives you all the all the options here. North, volume, satellite map, all the rest of it. Exit. All right, and then go back. Just cancel the route. Okay. So then you've got the radio on. All that. And then you can slip back. So you've got three dots there, right? You've got that page. That page, that page, and then the, the map and the radio. So that's pretty much it, really. I mean, podcast settings. I think what whatever apps you've got on your phone is what comes on here, because I've deleted a few off there. You can activate the um, driving focus, which turns off, like, if you're getting WhatsApp or phone calls. You can make phone calls through it as well. Hey Siri, make a phone call. To who? Andy, me, work. Calling Andy, me, work, mobile. Ready? Hey. Totally hands free. I'm obviously not going to answer it because it's in the house. But that's it. Just end it. I love it. <laughs> it's really good. Why didn't I not get one of these ages ago? So you've got your phone, music, maps, and like I say, there is other apps on your phone which will go on there, like Waze, for example, the the direction route thing, like SatNav for it's a different one, and Waze has got a few more details on it. Greatest hits because I'm old. WhatsApp, it reads your old WhatsApp messages there, it'll read them out to you, and then you can dictate a message back. Just using the voice, you don't need to type anything in. It's all hands-free. Yep, so that's it. I'm actually very impressed with that. So we're gonna go car home. And this is all the layout here. This is what's programmed in now. Everything's on there for you. I don't know what some of them are. Uh, help A Auto. Oh yeah, this is just um, Android. Android phones use A Auto. Okay, iOS use iPlay. Auto link. And that's for wiring it in. There's plugs in the side if you want to um, plug your phone in. You know, if you haven't got the Bluetooth or whatever on your van. I think every car's got Bluetooth. Every um, phone's got Bluetooth. You've got the help app there. You can use that. The turns is, the, oh, I don't know what that's done. Oh, it's just a little background thing. Change in the background. Brightness, you can have it brighter or darker. I think at night time you'll need it darker. It must be... So you can, I think you can plug a fire stick in it'll play videos. But there you go. So I have it on iPlay when I'm using it. And then you have the dual screen. Really good, and the um, link for that will be in the description. On the car Pure Ride homepage, they've got loads of different versions of this. They've got some with reversing cameras. They've got smaller ones, they've got bigger ones if you're in a van or a truck. Um, yeah, so it's worth having a look. And you know what? I was going to buy one of them. I was going to buy one. This one is just as good. We've got one in the van at work, a works van one, and it's exactly the same. In fact, I would say this is better than the one in the van because the one in the van doesn't give you this option. Whereas this one does. So yeah, I highly recommend it. I'll keep using it. Um, and you can have a look at it, see what you think. I'm gonna tidy all these wires up. I'm very untidy with wires. 
but this is only because I was at the, out of the weekend and had the fan on. Heads up display, this fan's full of gadgets and gimmicks, but you know, all driver aids all help. Thing is, you can still use your phone, you can still use your uh, handset, obviously, not when you're driving. You can still use this when that's playing. You can still all, use all your apps and everything. So there you go. Anyway, see what you think. Might be for you, might not be. Personally, I love it. Absolutely love it. On off switch on the top there. Just press and hold. Off. And then you dismantle it, you take it off. Unclick it there. And you're off. Right then. Hopefully see you for the next camp at the weekend. Oh yeah, just a, just one last word. When you get out of the car, disconnect it to take it off. So it's just that bracket there. Just take it off. Because they're very stealable, if you know what I mean. <laughs>